Miss Daisy. Yes. Please do not use Michael's name when you are talking about SA or our situations. Do not use Michael's name in that. Who said I was doing that? You were running Michael's name, which I'm very grateful for that you always run Michael's name and the phone number for contacts for um, tips. But when it comes to those situations, please do not run my son's name. When have I run your son's name? Please tell me that. I know a lot of people are in your ear right now, Randy. And no, I'm no. Attacking you just like they are, Donnie. With Mr. Wells. And you were running Michael's name across with um, him telling his truth. So I'm respectfully asking not to associate Michael with well, any of those situations, please. I'll just take his name and pictures completely down. Take his name and pictures completely down. Um, I, I appreciate you. I know you have had a lot of people in your ear. Uh, remember, I was here first before the rest of them. I know I was here supporting you before um, the lab and everybody else. I know a lot of people have been here. I've supported you 100%, but you've always influenced by people. No. Yes, you have. No, I, you and you know what those people have done for our family and Michael. For your family, but they've also attacked this family. And you know what it feels like to be attacked. I, I know. Don't, I'm Kendall. asking in honor and in respect for Michael and my family. Please. I'm I, not saying anything else. I'll take it completely out. Brandy. It has been a long two years since the disappearance of five-year-old Michael Vaughn from his Fruitland neighborhood. Despite the passage of time, his mother, Brandy Neal, remains unwavering in her determination to find her son, affectionately nicknamed Monkey. Michael was last seen near Southwest 9th Street on July 27, 2021, wearing a blue Minecraft t-shirt, dark blue briefs, and blue flip-flops. Fruitland Police Chief J.D. Huff emphasized the importance of keeping the community informed while maintaining the integrity of the ongoing investigation. He expressed his top priority as being justice for Michael and his family. Despite the ongoing investigation and the hope for eventual accountability, the Vaughn family has faced numerous challenges in the past month, according to Neil. She shared her sentiments, saying, Everything feels like the day Monkey went missing all over again. It's so hard every day, but for days like these, birthdays, Halloween, Christmas, everything without Michael here is heartache. Michael is now seven years old, his birthday being on June 24th. The search for answers continues, and anyone with information can send tips to find Michael at fruitland.org or to crime stoppers at 343cops.com. Tips may be submitted anonymously.